Hey guys, um, I have this video already. Um, I'm just redoing it because um, I sort of messed up a little bit. So I'm just going to, uh, yeah, redo it. So I'm just gonna get right into it. First, when I started out, um, notation was a little hard for me, and there wasn't any videos on it. And I made a video, but I, yeah, I messed up on it, like I said. But I'm just gonna redo this right now. Um, I'm gonna go over all notation here. Um, I'm gonna do it. Um, I'll use a three by three. I'll do a four by four. Five by five. And no, four by four. Um, it's the same for these two, but a little bit gets into it uh, with the three by three. So right now we'll do a three by three. So first things first. Your first, your front face will tell you everything about the cube, no matter which way you're facing it. So, if this is your front face, that means this is your back face, your right face, left face, up face, and down face. It moves in all ways. Um, so, if you were to see an F, that means you turn the front face clockwise. So, look at the front face; it turns clockwise. Now, if you see F prime, F prime means you turn it counterclockwise, like that. Now it's also F2, which means you turn it either either way, but you have to turn it twice. So one, two. And that's basically it. You do that for every face. So I'm gonna give examples, uh, since this is a notation video. Um, so I'm gonna do it with all of them. So U, you look at the up face as it's your front face, and you do U clockwise. U prime, counterclockwise. U2 like that. You know it's a 2 when the opposite color is on whichever side, if it's your solved face. So R would look like this, like that. R prime look like that, towards you, counterclockwise. L is towards you, like this. L prime is like that, away from you. Now D is the opposite of, prime, uh, of U, See, U would look like this, D would look like this. So, you look at the down face and you turn it clockwise. D prime, counterclockwise. D2, like this. Now there's also back. Back from the front looks back prime. So, if I said B, you turn the back side counterclockwise like this, if you're not looking at it. So that looked like a back, a back, a uh, counterclockwise from the front. So B prime would look clockwise. And B2, obviously, it doesn't matter which way. Whichever ways are like faster, I guess, with however you're holding the cube. Now there's slice moves. Actually, before we get to slice moves, I'm gonna talk about the double layer moves. The double layer is a lowercase. So if you see a lowercase, that means you're turning two layers. Um, on the three by three. We'll get into four by four and five by five later. Double layer F, actually I'll say U because that's probably the easiest one to look. So you turn the U layer and you turn the middle layer. So it'll look like that in the end. You could just do this if you want to. That's uh, faster. So here's U, here's U prime, F, F prime, R, R prime, L, L prime. D, D prime, and B, and B prime. And that goes also, there's also two of those, so this would be in U2. So yeah. Now slice moves. Slice moves are the middle layers, just the middle layers, not um, both of them. So there's E, M, and S. I've never come across an E before. I've seen an S, I didn't have to learn the algorithm, but I have seen an S, so if you ever wanted to, I don't know, you'll see them, I'm sure, I mean, they're there for a reason, I guess, but I'm not sure if any algorithms actually use E, because um, that's, uh, I know uh, one or two that, I don't, I, it's just weird. So, let's get into it, E goes the same way as D, so, the middle layer, this is E. Uh, e prime and E2 obviously. Alright, so there's also M. 
M is this middle layer. M looks like this. It goes the same way as L. And uh, M prime looks like this. And M2 looks like that. Now there's also S. S uh, does the front and back face, but in the middle. So along this middle. This is S. This is S prime. And S2. So yeah, that's that. Now it's also rotation. Oh, getting a text message, I think. I'll answer that later. Now it's also rotation, so rotating the cube. Now I'm gonna hold the cube, I guess like this. People solve white, so I'm gonna hold it on the bottom. I'm gonna hold it like this. This is how I'm gonna first start the cube. Now there's X, Y and Z. I'm going to start with Y. Y rotates the cube uh, that goes like this. The, the axis that goes from the top to the bottom. So a Y, not that hard, it goes like this. It takes a little bit of getting used to. Uh, you probably do this all the time but you just don't know the name for it. So this would be a Y. Y prime is the other way. This comes naturally. When you see it in an algorithm, you'll just do it naturally. Um, so Y2, which you completely want to do and avoid. Uh, you never want to do a Y2, um, but I'm sure you do it all the time if you're a beginner and you're watching the video. So Y2, like this. Um, so try to avoid those if you ever see them. Um, find another algorithm maybe, or just do it a better way. Um, X rotates it um, on the axis that goes from the right to the left. So X looks like this. Your front face becomes your up face. And X prime is obviously the other way. X2, um, people do this a lot. It's not that bad, but still, it's uh, you're taking your hands off the cube. This will build up time. And uh, if you're doing speed solves, you don't want to. Now there's also Z. Z I have never seen. Um, I don't think. I'm not really sure though. But Z looks like this. It goes through the axis through the front and the back. So it looks like this. This is Z. This is Z prime. So Z2 like this. I, I, I've seen people do these but not in an algorithm. And that's basically it. So I'm going to go on to 4x4. Four four. Same rules apply. F looks like this, you turn one layer. R, one layer. U, one layer. Now there's also lower cases for this as well. There's a single lowercase and there's a lowercase and a capital. This will be a single lowercase R. That's a single lowercase R. Where I just bring the middle one um, up as, a, as an R. Now it's also, it'll say RW or it'll say uppercase R or lower and lowercase R which means this return both layers and that's the only thing different same thing on 5x5 five five, um, it doesn't change a double R would look like this or an RW if you will so that's basically it so if you like this um, rate it 5 stars I guess um, comment if you have any questions I am free to answer them um, so uh Good luck.